this was the best administered election of my, I've seen in my career. Tuesday, Election Assistance Commission Chair Benjamin Hovland told the Congressional Committee the pandemic did not negatively impact voting because of funding from the CARES Act. He helped election officials address some of the additional costs associated with running both the largest mail and absentee ballot election most jurisdictions had ever experienced and making polling places as safe as possible for voters and election workers. The threats to our democracy are constant and ever evolving. To keep things running smoothly in the future, Democrats like Illinois Congressman Mike Quigley and Connecticut Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro want to see that extra election funding continue. We must ensure that EAC has the necessary resources to provide vital support to states and the voting public. Now more than ever, we need to provide the necessary resources, support that protection of our democracy, secure our elections. But despite support for more election security, Republicans say the country can't afford to keep paying the $400 billion it spent last year. We've got this significant debt hanging over future generations' head. Arkansas Congressman Steve Womack says elections should be locally controlled and funded. We've got to be careful not to allow more and more of the federal tax dollars to go for what uh, is normally paid for at the uh, at the more local level. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.